was actually gonna lay down. <laughs> Today on Jumper Cable Dads, we are doing something we weren't planning on doing today. No. This isn't our usual build record day. Came over to just do some reinforcing and finish up some things that we started last time. And it turned into we're going to make the seat bracket and mount and whole get up. I mean, why not? <laughs> so, this is kind of somewhat what we got mocked up. Seat will go on top. Do some cross members, and we have a surprise. Hopefully, it turns out all right for what the seat's gonna do. Yeah, and this is just logistics here because uh, <sighs> oh, I don't want to give away too much. You'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Also, the uh, clutch is not gonna work. I could tell that people probably in the first video was screaming that when they saw me mount it, but it, is, it sticks off the engine way too much. And, and we're also gonna do more stuff tomorrow. Hopefully, by tomorrow, we can get the steering. Done. Yeah. We'll probably make this all one video today and tomorrow. Okay. Yep. Ready. And I plan on doing some add-ons to this thing, so I need the backspace. Cool. Let's try to get a seat mounted. Let's try. Let's try. Let's do it. So, time lapse.
day two of doing the seat and hopefully the steering today. I guess we'll see. Yep. All right. So we just get started. Decided to go with the, the cool hinge setup so we can still access the engine. This back bar removes, it bolts in. We have nuts on the in, welded on the inside so we can screw these in, take this out so we can take the engine out if we need to. And then the seat folds up to be able to put fuel in it. I think we're done with that. I think we're going to try to hit up, start the steering. And I think we're going to go with an extreme toe in for front wheels. What do you think? We already got a negative caster, about 15 degrees. And I, I liked it. I like the look of uh, the tires going by that. It'd be good for steering. I'll need a new set of front tires after uh, two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we will have a slight toe in. All right, so making the braces for the steering column. We're gonna have, at some point, along these two bars, it's gonna come out, right? And then off this, we're gonna have a brace for the lower, right? We need to figure out the angle of the steering column so then we can determine the angles that we need for the upper and the lower brace. You agree? Yeah, I think the best way for us to figure this out is put the seat on. We'll use magnets and then we'll take measurements. Kind of winging it on this part. We'll give it a throw. So we think we have the setup that we're going to do for steering, but we need some bolts, we need some more metal, uh, so we're going to run to the hardware store real quick. Yep. Alright, let's go. Ready? Let's see what we got, the important stuff. Keep us going. By the way, we're not sponsored. In case anybody wants to sponsor us. Uh, we got bolts for the seat, washers and nuts. We got some bolts for the steering blocks. Yeah, we throw a washer back here and it'll, we're still on the threads. It'll be good. So what do you want to do now? <sighs> Measure, cut, weld, repeat. Measure, cut, weld, repeat. Measure, cut, well, repeat. This is our third video of the 420 Barstool cart. We made a lot of progress yesterday and today. We got the seat mounted and we've got the steering mocked up right now. The cool thing about the seat, I'm going to show them the best part about the seat. So we can put fuel in it, we need to do maintenance to it. Uh, also this back piece just bolts in got uh, some nuts welded in here we can take this out to take the whole engine out if we need to then we cut some angle iron and some tabs to mock up the steering the steering's not done it's all clamped in nothing is permanent yet we yeah. seem to have run into a little bit of problem but we need to do a little research on Ackerman steering because we're having the opposite of Ackerman 
happening right now. So from the little bit of knowledge that we know, when you turn for Ackerman, your inside tire needs to turn a little bit more than the outside tire. Towards the other one. The opposite of what this one's doing. <laughs> yeah. So pretty much the problem we're having is... Yeah, inside tire needs to turn more. Yes, yeah, correct. Yeah. <laughs> See, we don't know enough about it yet. We need to do some research. Um, as powerful as this is going to be, um, we need to make sure the steering is just right. Our inside tire is barely turning while our outside tire is turning more. And we need the opposite. We need our inside tire, we say if we're turning to the left, to turn more than our outside tire based on the travel of the angles and math and science and things that we, we're going to have to do some more research. We don't want it to end up being where we can't even turn around and all we do is just drive straight and just kind of wiggle back and forth a little bit. It's a little frustrating. We thought we would have steering done today. We spent probably the last hour trying to figure out the steering. Yeah, so that's why we're not committing quite to this setup yet. But once we once we figure it out, and I mean, if we're if we're down to settle with this, then we'll just start welding all this stuff in. Yeah, there's no shame in admitting when you don't know something, and I don't know enough about this. So yeah, what is it like? So, like like. Comment, share, sub no, subscribe and share. <laughs> Please do all of those things. Whatever order that they're set in, <laughs> do all of those. Uh, <laughs> yeah, parent life, getting old. Um, we appreciate everybody that has been starting to follow us and watching our build and coming along on the journey with us, and it's been a lot of fun. All right, until next time. Peace.